bend your knees, your arm sweeps in front of you as you draw the gun up. Left foot, right foot. Okay, and then I withdraw. Right foot, left foot. Now I inhale. One, two, half out the nose, three. Out the throat. Then I go to the ready position. This is where we begin. This is the only form in this whole school where we do this. Now, you are sort of in the um, California proposition position. You want to go up here. All right, yeah, like you're doing a wheelie on a motorcycle. Your arms open up just a little bit in front of you. Break the grip. Push them off. Ideally, you want the heel down. This leg, it's not totally locked out. You can see there's a difference, but it is heel down. This is at a right angle. Now, this fist is palm up. It's the only place in the whole form is done that way. This arm is not out here like this. It's in closer. And we'll stay at this height. And then we'll slide this leg back. Now I'm going to turn, whack, slap him upside the head, draw the arm inside the shield, hit low, hit high, and retract the arm. Now, i got a haymaker coming from here. Double palm. This pops him back. Elbow. Hammer him in the groin. He doubles over. I come right up under his neck. Fire an uppercut. Okay, now I'm in a horse stance here. I'm going to move in that direction. Retract this foot. Slide back. Okay, now I'm dealing with a haymaker coming from the northeast. Duck. I shuffle in. Nail him in the groin. Bring my arm up inside the shield and over the top. Rising front kick, drop and chop. And I step all the way back. Now I'm going to do block right extended. One. Then I'm going to do four method block left. One, two, chop. Then I'm going to go forward. Choo choo train. Woo woo. Boom. Sideways. Now I turn to the front. The right foot is up. The right foot extends a little. When I'm here, I'm going to be on this line so you can see. Boom. Yes. Now I do a punching front kick. Boom. Slam inside the head. Club attack coming from the north, northeast. One. Slide out to the horse. I'm going to shift my weight to a left hard bow. Chop. And I'm going to withdraw. Don, you nice know, places, please? Got a knife attack coming at me from the southeast. Slip, kick, drop and chop, back. Now I've got man number seven coming at me from the southwest. Slip, boom. Then I shuffle in. One, two. I look back and forth and run away. Left, right, left, right. Man number eight coming at me from the west. Flip, rip through, cross behind, uncoil, one, two, three. From this position here, I'm going to the ready position. I finish man number eight. And I look over my left shoulder to watch this guy squirming on the ground, make sure you didn't pull out a gun. One, two, three. I'm doing the Kempo salutation first, so it's the opposite of when I started. Pull this back, left foot, right foot, withdraw, right foot, left foot, boom, and you're done. When I did man number seven, okay, he comes in with a punch, one, boom, so I get an instant base, okay, a hard bow stance. Then I shuffle in. Because he's doubled over, I have to get all the way to here to do a heel palm with the fingers up. But I can turn the fingers out and still slam him, can't I? So I'm going one, two. Then I look back and forth to make sure I know where the path is, know where the threat was. Then I run away. Man number eight. Drags here. Left lead, please. Fires the right punch. I slip it. I'm going to hit it, but not like this. Not to send him away, but to collapse his body in this direction. 
I slip, and then I go, wham, boom. I get elbow in, palm, hammer, here, boom. Notice I have the leg, and I'm hitting here with the hammer wrist going to the kidney area. It's taught with him in a right lead, or left lead, and he fires me a right punch. All right, now step forward with your right foot, do the karate way, boom. It's taught like so. One, two, three. I use the same footwork, and I don't care what lead he's in. Okay? We do it with a guy feeding me a right punch from the left lead. Okay? Getting outside of it. This is not, this is streetwise application. Okay? I'm here, he fires the punch. Boom! I can still do everything, can I? It didn't change what I could do being on the inside or outside. So when we apply it, we will apply it first from the outside, get the basic mechanic down. Then we will apply it from the inside so you can see, oh, I don't care how it's taught. I can always do it from the inside. See what I'm talking about? Does that make sense? All right, one more time. Outside first, he feeds here. I move to here. I step, but I want to hit one third of his body, not in the middle to knock him away. This to cause him to tip slightly. As I cross behind, one. Kempo players are doing this more at arm's reach. We would be doing it coming around with an elbow first, then this, and then this. He fires the same punch, I move inside. Boom. My arms are still free to fly. As a matter of fact, when I move his body this way a little bit, you know, because he was in this position, and I move his body like this, it's a target rich environment. Pick what you want. Does that make any sense? So we're taking sort of a traditional form, which I refuse to change this form beyond what I already have. And I have changed it. Because when you do uh, man number one, after you do that one, and you're getting like this, and you're getting, or man number two, and you just send him sprawling, the way it was taught traditionally, okay, by a guy who changed it to this, was he would hit with this and he would, <laughs> and then the punch comes from here and he goes, <laughs> kick. Okay, I couldn't do that, so I changed it. But I'm not changing the entire form. I'm not worried about what's well, outside the right punch. We do it inside. It won't make any difference. For example, man number seven, he's over here. <clears throat> okay. Whereas they were going here, boom, expecting the guy to be in the right lane and shuffling in and doing this. I've come across, I go here, boom, bam. Oh, I think I can make you work. Remember, what you practice in the form, like any technique, puts you in the middle of possibilities. When I'm meeting an opponent and I'm going inside, outside, those are just possibilities. Does that make sense? All right. <clears throat> you get a choice.